Hey, it's Sarah, also known as Quasi Thoughts. And um, this is my unboxing of my Coco Daisy kit, except I forgot to hit play on the recorder. I took a picture and then I talked for like five minutes and then I realized that I wasn't recording. So we're gonna kind of rewind briefly here <laughs> and just go with life. Okay, this is the Washi Trio. I subscribe to four kits with Coco Daisy. The Washi Trio, the Classified, I get the Weeks Calendar Kit, and I get the Weeks Kit. Um, I am not sure I will continue these, and we'll go into this in detail. I also kind of want to talk about um, subscription boxes in general when it comes to astrology, uh, because I find I really love acetate and vellum, I don't really love the cardstock pages for tipping in in Astology. I love them in rings for dividers or in a TN for dashboards, but in Astology, it's too much bulk. I feel the same way about die cuts. I really love die cuts for like pocket decoration um, and for dividers and dashboards, but not so much for Astology because there's only so much bulk that you can get in here into the spine without it messing with your ability to write on the pages where the pages become lumpy in, like when you go to write like you know you put all the whatever deco on this page make a pretty thing you flip over the page and now to write on this back page is difficult for like three or four pages and yes you could use a pencil board and yes there are ways to get around it but the trade-off isn't worth it to me <laughs> so um so I stopped subscribing to their planner like their main planner kit because of that I do have you know the um Simply Gilded kit that I subscribe to primarily for the sticker. Well, I subscribe primarily for the washi. I'm not going to continue to get it primarily for the stickers and the rest of the kit. Um, I also subscribe to the Planner Society. I might continue to get that uh, just because I like the level of acetate and vellum that comes in that kit. I also like the washi and I feel the need for some foiled floral washi and I feel like that is Planner Society <laughs> by... Uh, definition so I don't know but but the drawback for me is the paper like what do you do with the paper right so the the biggest thing you could do is if you had a cover on cover is use the patterned paper inside like a Lauren Phelps uh, cover on some level uh, otherwise it is it's difficult. I mean, like you could cut pattern paper to like put deco behind pockets and things like that. Um, if you had a hand stitch leather tee, my pockets don't want to work with me. If you had a hand stitch leather tee, you could like put it in the front, that like front little half pocket or three quarter pocket that she does. So anywho, I struggle with the paper, but I also love the paper, but I struggle to actually use it. Uh, some things that I do end up using the paper for are to make additional things. So like this was from the April Coco Daisy kit. I made a sticker book cover with it. So stuff like that. I, I will end up using the paper, but I only make that so often, right? Okay, so let's just explain what I have out here. Washi Trio, right? I'm pretty sure this is from the planner kit. Pretty sure this is from the uh, add-on kit. I'm pretty sure this was unique to the Washi Trio or the Classified. And then they had a stripey one that came in the memory keeping kits. Normally when there are four washies in a month, the Washi Trio includes the memory keeping kit um, washi. Like it includes the, uh, sorry, I said that wrong. You know what, now that I think about it, I don't, I don't know. Oh, normally I think the pocket and the memory keeping TN kit get different washies when there's four and whichever one isn't included in the trio ends up in the planner classified. Okay, so that didn't happen this month. I'm gonna have an extra one of these and then I bought an extra one of these. I also bought two notepads. I really like their notepads, but on the whole, I find them really tiny. I mean, like, you know, it's not much bigger than a, a roll of washi. <laughs> and uh, I like big notepads, but I thought this was super cute. So I, I bought it. Um, all right, let's talk about the week's kit. So. This is the week's calendar kit. Um, it's designed to perfectly fit inside a Hobonichi Weeks. And then this is the week's actual kit. And these are really wonderful if you use a Hobonichi or if you use a standard TN. Um, I've made both of them work, like in the Midori 
insert for a weeks like that looks just like the Hobonichi weeks but it's for a from Midori or Traveler's Company for a standard TN these also work really well I never end up using these date covers um, but you could so let's talk about why I don't think I'm gonna get these again next month first of all they are releasing a paper subscription and I know I just talked about how I don't like their papers because I can't tip them in. I do love Coco Daisy paper and so I'm tempted to go in that direction. I wish, I wish more than anything they would release a digital paper subscription because if I could print their paper patterns on vellum or on acetate and make my own that would be like the best of both worlds and I do take advantage of the fact that they offer um, subscriber so you get a subscriber download from Coco Daisy when you subscribe. You also get a subscriber digital paper that comes in your email. I use that. And then you also have access to just a free, anybody can get it, <coughs> digital, uh, like digital download thing. But they have some pretty serious use, like terms of use things. Like all you can do is resize them in your, um, your, printer driver so you can't put them in anything and manipulate to resize them which kind of is sad because some things I'd love to be able to print double-sided or I would love to be able to have like all of the images and like make cut files for them to then print and cut on my uh, silhouette machine so I could make my own stickers um, you can print them on sticker paper and then fussy cut them that's totally okay uh, and you could resize them and print them different sizes on sticker paper and then fussy cut them. But you have to use your printer driver to do it. <clears throat> okay, so Weeks Kit. Um, I did try to use this in my uh, mystology currently. I haven't, I've got like notes on this. So this is from the August kit that I used. Um, and this is also from the August kit. So between the two of them, this was all done with the washi and then the weeks kit. So this is that nameplate one right here, right, that correlates. And then uh, I believe I cut these month. I used these four. So these are sized, like this is all one sticker. So it's sized to fit right on across the whole row of, of columns for the month, the Hobonichi weeks, right? I had to cut them down to kind of make them fit in. This is a B6 slim histology. So instead of five inches wide, it's four and a half. So I cut them down to kind of make it work on the calendar. I printed out. I think it works. I think it's cute. I think it was a little bit more effort than I want to spend in any given month. Um, so... I don't know that I will do it again next month. Uh, and then on top of that, I just straight up don't use these little important type stickers. They're sized to fit in the Hobonichi boxes. I, I don't, I don't use these either. I rarely use these. I will probably find a way to use these three. Um, I will use this tab because I do like the tab a lot. Uh, these two things, no, not so much. This I can use. And then these boxes, I might be able to make work. I don't know. And then this, no. And that's just like, you know, it's like half of this sticker kit that I can use if I recut these. And it was kind of a pain, I'm not gonna lie, to get them, you know, the same width. It's pretty easy to get them the same width in like all of Wednesday is one width, but it's not so easy to get like Wednesday the same width as Tuesday as the same width as Monday, right? So, It's just not for me. And then this kit. So let's talk about what I will use here. I sometimes use these. I do find them useful. I do like these little numbers. Um, I use them to, to date my undated, um, I think it's Peanuts Planner Co. calendar. I don't so much use these washi strips because they're not really sized to a good size for my planner. And then, you know, I'll use the deco pieces. So the thing I want stickers for are deco. I don't use these, and I could. I'll use this. I don't use these. I pretty much don't use this entire page. I pretty much don't use this entire page. And then I can make 
these two pages work, but again, it's kind of like making this work. So um, this right here, I believe was maybe this one last month, or maybe this one, I don't know. I think it was this one, I don't, I don't know anymore. I feel like it was two different stickers though. Um, this right here was one of these quotes that goes across two lines. So like I could make it work, right? What I have also done is I've taken these weak stickers and just made them like my weak headers in, in my planner. Um, but I don't know that this is necessary and I don't need this tracker at all. So I really feel like I only use about half of both of these kits. And I don't know that it is worth continuing the subscription. I hope, just like I hope that at some point they offer a digital paper kit that you could subscribe to, I hope they offer just a deco-based sticker kit where it's a bunch of the deco for the month, um, maybe some like wider washi. I mean, I'd be fine even if they kept with this size or whatnot. And then what I would love to see them do is um, add in more day of the week and like title type things. So something big that I could stick down on a page that said like gratitude or tracker or, um, you know, waiting on. Those kinds of title stickers for my pages are what I use. So if you use Astology, my two ride or die subscription kits that I love are the Coco Daisy Washi Trio and the Coco Daisy Planner Classified, and this is why. So if you don't wanna see the Planner Classified, stop watching. <laughs> so generally speaking, you generally get an acetate, a vellum, some washi in this, sometimes a button, but not every time. And this goes with uh, this magnetic button that you can buy separately. It just, it magnetizes on there. I don't really use this because again, it adds bulk, but it's cute and now I have it. Um, sometimes you get a clip. This month it happens to be an adorable Simon clip. You always get a Simon card. Sometimes Simon is with Betty. Sometimes he's with Gary. I don't know. It's adorable. I love it. Then you also get three sheets, sometimes more, but generally it's three sheets of deco stickers. So, well, I guess it's two sheets of deco and then one sheet of days of the week. This is what I wish they would put in an actual kit, something like this. This particular month, you get two weeks worth. Most of the time, it's just one week. Um, so I would love to see Coco Daisy do a kit full of deco and a month's worth of like day of the week stickers and then things like, you know, the month written really big a couple times and gratitude and tracker and, you know, just the planning headers that are really common in a bullet journal. And so then I love these deco stickers. This time it's a bunch of constellations. All right. Then you get a vellum, and this is like astrological, it's foiled. Generally it's a foiled vellum. Her vellums just keep getting better and better. This one feels like, however they drew this on there, it like it really imprinted it. So it almost feels 3D. You get an acetate, and let's put this on here. So this is the, um, the night sky with constellations in it. I think you can see that. Both of these are awesome. They're beautiful. Um, the only problem that I have with her acetates is that when I was using a traveler's notebook, they are not tall enough to wrap around. So you, you only get one side on the TN. You can't, you can't get both because it's not tall enough to go around. So it, it's very well sized for any kind of ring planner. If you wanted to punch this and make a divider or deco out of either of these for a ring planner, perfectly sized, not so well sized for a TN. I would put them in those clear dashboards like by Foxy Fix or the 1407. I don't, I don't know the, I don't know. I'll put it in the description if I remember. Um, but the other thing that I, I would say is that it does make, you know, really pretty tip-ins 
in, a, in Astrology, right? Like this. Sometimes if I just can't bear to lose it, I will cut it just in half and get two tip ends out of it. But just know that if you do that, it's not gonna be the full size of your page, which is a little sad to me. Like I wish it were just a little bit bigger or ideally I wish it was like double this size and folded in half. I would, I would love that. Like she does her planner kit papers where they're, um, I forget exactly the dimensions, but they're basically big enough to do an A5 TN folded in half. Uh, and then this month it came with a plastic bag or not a plastic bag, but like, um, a vinyl bag. This also came, I want to say in the May kit, um, but it was yellow. I have it somewhere. This is nice because it fits their full size stickers and sorry, just hold on. I had to rip it last time because it would stick to it. So it fits their full size sticker kits. Um, so you could put like the stickers full size in it and also all your other bits and bobs. It's actually a little bit bigger than the pouches that normally come in the kits. So this has been kind of rambly, but these are my thoughts. Um, I tend to like bright and cheerful, colorful, kits. I find Coco Daisy is the closest one on the market to that. It is not perfect, but it is the best that I can find and I love it enough and I keep coming back to it enough that I will probably continue to subscribe, especially to their Washi Trio and the Classified kit, just because I use it and I use almost all of it. Uh, the exception really is that like metal top thing, this thing right here I don't really use and I have a collection of Simon clips like this that I love but since I switched to Astology I haven't really been decorating my pockets much beyond this and even this is a little annoying because this guy keeps falling out so like this is just way too big to put on the top of my planner as an actual paper clip um, but Simon is so cute so I can't I can't really say no to Simon and then these three sticker pages are probably my favorite sticker pages of all the sticker pages that Coco Daisy offers. So, you know, honestly, this is as close to the sticker kit that I wish they made as I am going to get, and I will continue to buy it because I love this set. Uh, I just wish I could get, you know, like three more weeks worth, basically. But, you know, it, it kind of comes out okay because... I got a silhouette and I just started making my own stickers. Um, I would also throw in there in my like dream kit, if we're dreaming, I would love her to do a bunch of big numbers that were either foiled or um, like not circles, kind of maybe a little bit more. Let's see if I can find one without, I don't know that I have one, without um, filling it like uh, like happy planner stickers where they're like just the just the number and then you peel out the number and it's like really closely cut to the number also something that I can make with my silhouette machine so I mean I guess it's not a huge deal but it would be nice to be able to buy them pre-made so that's my thought on subscription kits how do you use your subscription kit in astrology like what pieces do you find you actually use um, yeah that's really where where i i fall i want acetate i want vellum i want deco stickers and i want days title headers and number stickers and believe it or not i'm kind of leaning in the direction of learning to make my own and or making my own going forward so thanks <laughs>